Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Aries. Aries, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, welcome on board. If you've come over from TikTok, what a great journey that is. Um, wherever you've come from, know that you're appreciated and I love everything you put into this channel, including your support of me. Thank you. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart that may give you more insight into yourself. Your sun sign or the sign you see as your star sign is only one aspect of you and it may ring true for many, but for others of you, your moon or your ascendant may be more impacting than the rest of the energies you have. Um, if the reading does resonate with you, however, I do ask that you give it a thumbs up and help me to grow the channel. If you are interested in a personal reading, life coaching or joining me for tarot class, I only have one place left. Um, please email me and all the instructions are below or you can whip over to the Aussie Goddess Facebook page where all of my details are listed and pinned to the top of the page. We are going to use the Tarot Mucha for your reading today and we do have the Ten of Cups jumping out here. So I feel like there's something good coming in for you this week, Aries. Maybe something that changes your mind on something, some sort of flip of the switch um, or flipping the script. Something here you're seeing from a completely different way and you're going to realize you've denied yourself happiness from something for a really long time. Something really amazing here. It's bringing you into balance with that two of pentacles. Something bringing you into balance. All right, let's see where we're going with this. Oh, nice split. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Maybe you're happy because you're moving away from something. Maybe that is bringing you it back into balance. You could be at a point where your job, a relationship, or some sort of situation, maybe with family and friends, where you have been somewhat sacrificing yourself for this energy. So you may have been investing in something that was very difficult to close down or walk away from, but this week you're going to flip the script and move away from something which is going to bring you great happiness. Something has been draining you or bringing you down or somewhat exhausting you here. And I feel that you're going to understand that the only way you can do something is by making this decision big decision coming in this week okay so we have the six of cups so this has something to do with your past it could be a family thing it could be a family member you know at the end of the day we tend to put up with family because they're blood related but it doesn't mean that you have to put up with you know abuse or unfair situations because you have this commitment to your family it's quite okay if someone's treating you poorly or abusing you or in some way shape or form not accepting you to say I want to walk away from this there's nothing wrong with that for some no reason when we think it's family we think we have to endure that abuse where you don't and I'm here to tell you that if this is bringing you down and making you unhappy you clean the slate of it don't keep going with it but something from your past here could be to do with a father figure um, but it certainly um, looks like a water sign here so you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio that it's time to walk away from. It's time to close the book on, shut the door. Um, whoever this person is, is creating this energy of draining you, um, of, of you feeling like they're exhausting you. Um, and, and it's time to walk away from this. Maybe this person expects too much of you. Maybe they have some idea that you always have to serve them. But whatever it is here, you're walking away. Maybe you're thinking of yourself too. Okay, so we have the lover's card coming through with the world. There you go, end of cycle. Wow, major arcanas everywhere here. You're taking on the energy here of the King of Wands, which of course represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you are moving away from something here. So there's a very strong energy of realization coming through. Um, some sort of choice being made could be in a relationship with the lovers card here there may be a choice to move away from a relationship but we do have the world card coming which is saying that it is the end of a cycle and it is time to move forward you've learned the lessons you needed to learn you've gained the experience you needed to gain no longer serves you 
All right, so we have the Magician. Wow, Aries, go way to go with all the major arcanas this week. Big week for you. The Magician is a super card because what it's saying to me here is that perhaps you feel that you don't have what it takes to do what you need to do. Like maybe I don't have the confidence. Maybe I don't have the voice. Maybe I you know, feel too much love. But there's something here that's telling me that the universe is saying, actually, you have everything you need in this situation to make this decision and put yourself first, number one, with the magician. So it's about you putting everything down and really understanding how to stay true to you. You do not have to put yourself behind other people. This is time for you to create the life you want. All right. We have the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana coming through here. Wow. Holy dooly, she says. Seven of Swords, another major arcana with the Judgment card. Wow, you are really making some sort of judgment this week. The universe is saying here, it's time to have a restart. It's time to refresh. You're finishing out some sort of cycle here. I feel like at times this may have made you feel like you had to always try. Oh, I sort of get this energy here with the seven of swords. The universe is helping you here though. So I feel like you've been doing this seven of swords for a very long time. You may have been withholding your voice here, closing yourself down and just putting up with things because you didn't want to speak up for yourself. And I feel like you're having to, for three major arcanas here, it's like you're having to learn how to use your own resources here because perhaps you've been, you know, putting things away for fear of being um, maybe reprimanded. But this energy of, I don't want to be knocked down, I'm sick and tired of people t treating me this way, but it's so much easier for me to just keep my thoughts, feelings and ideas to myself. You're strategizing with something here. And the universe is saying, no, it's time. There's something you had to learn from this situation. You've now learned it. You can move away. For some of you, this could be a relationship, but it, for others of you, maybe not so much. Well, they're all relationships. I mean, maybe it's a romantic relationship for some of you. Maybe you're putting up with some sort of, yeah, you've got a queen of swords here. I feel like she should be in reverse. All right, let me just have a look. Yeah, you may be... Um, you may be enduring a lot of conflict. You may have someone who's very unreasonable, maybe even spiteful towards you here. And I feel like you've been looking for some way of getting out of this. But for some unknown reason, you keep sticking it out. You keep keep your thoughts to yourself and keeping your ideas to yourself. And you keep sticking to something that really isn't serving you here. But it's almost like this situation or this person is keeping you bound through your ideas of tradition. So maybe you feel that you have to stay in this situation. All right, so we have the Two of Cups coming through with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Two of Wands. You will move on. You are going to move forward. However, what is happening here is you're making excuses for a person or a situation. You're actually... You're actually... <laughs> finding things to keep you there and that's what you need to have a look at because sometimes what we do is we go oh well this person's our soulmate this person's my wife this person's my partner this person's the mother of my children this person you know did this for me this person did that for me so therefore I cannot move on I have to keep working on this situation but there's a belief here that putting work and energy into it is going to somehow make it better or easier or whatever. But I see you having to move away. I don't feel like this situation is serving you at all. Um, that if you ask yourself, if you stop and ask yourself, what are you getting from this or what does your soul want from this? I feel like the only thing you're taking from this situation are these lessons that you are learning. There is very much this energy that the universe is saying now, you know, come on, buddy, you've done it enough. You've done it for long enough. It's really not helping you anymore. Um, it could be a work situation. Whatever this is, you keep making excuses for not moving on. Maybe you're looking and saying, well, the money's good, um, you know, but I feel like here with this five of wands, there's constant conflict either in the workplace or in this situation or in your head here. Um, 
And there is a great feeling that the universe is trying to move you forward because there's a new path opening up for you here. But for some unknown reason, you're attached to this situation and you need to understand it's not getting any better, no matter what you do. So there's a walking away here. Now, I feel like you've adapted yourself to some idea of this is how things work from your childhood. So you could be dealing with somebody around you who's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Perhaps this is a romantic relationship. But there is a choice here to close out some sort of cycle and step into your own power to move on. But I feel like you're making excuses as to why you can't do that. And not that the excuses are a bad thing. It's just your way of... And, and sometimes when we get really knocked down and we're not standing in our power sometimes we make excuses for why we need to stay but they're not really serving us in a very healthy way um, and sometimes you can do that in a very abusive relationship or a very abusive situation because you have a belief that somehow or another you're not good enough to make those decisions and if you've got somebody around you like this queen of swords here who seems to feel like she is perhaps putting you in your place, running you down. You may be dealing with a, a boss, um, not necessarily a woman, but you may be dealing with someone here who has the upper hand and you're making excuses. Maybe you're doing a really good job, but you're telling yourself you're doing a poor job and that's why she's on your back. Maybe you feel like you deserve this, but the excuses you're making are not serving you because the magician is here, which says to me, you actually have all you need. But for some unknown reason, you're, expect, you're, you're sort of accepting someone's poor, poor treatment of you because you feel that it's all you deserve. All right, so we have the full card. I'm not going to draw any more cards on that because actually the full card's a beautiful card to get here. So sometimes what we have to do is we have to realize here, and you've got this card and you had the world card, so there's a progression here. There is some sort of realization in this that you are closing out a cycle. You need to stop. You need to go back to the beginning and start all over again. When you have the world card, it talks about closing out the cycle. The full card comes next and the full card says you're jumping into a new cycle. You're jumping into a new time. And now is the time where you can really fully invest in yourself. You've got a fresh start. So I feel like for some of you here, you're manifesting some sort of new beginning. You just aren't seeing this yet because you're in amongst this sort of energy of really not seeing what's going on. You're sort of in this energy of just trying to sort of sneak by every day and keep your keep yourself small, keep yourself invisible so that nobody sees what you're doing, where in your mind, your, your mind is going over and over every sort of aspect of this situation, asking yourself, is it worth moving on or should I stay? But there's definitely this energy here of you trying to go under the radar here and trying to avoid conflict and trouble but see the fact is you're going to walk away no matter which way I see it because there is some sort of energy of having something more in your future that you're not really seeing for yourself at this time because you're so bogged down in this energy and trying to resist making decisions here to move yourself forward I feel like with this soulmate card, there's some sort of energy here of feeling somewhat uh, sort of chained to this situation. It's got a little bit of a devil energy here for me. So I feel like you see no escape here. It's almost this energy of this is it. This is what I've got. I can't do anything more. And therefore I have to lay low and always keep everything to myself to avoid conflict. But you feel like you're trapped in this situation, but you're not. You're the magician. All right, we have the resting tree coming. It's patience and stillness coming through here. Card 22. Oh, there it is. The resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is the, representat the re representative of non-action and relaxation. Patience is the key to being with this ally. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. This isn't the time to forge ahead in any way. You may not be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. 
This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's like living within the space between breaths. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you've done all you can for now and it's time to unwind and allow your story to unfold of its own accord. You've earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. I feel like you're going into a period of time where you're going to be very introspective and able to then make decisions because you've allowed or let go of this conflict that's going on. I feel like once you let go of the conflict and you just rest and sit back for a little while, maybe then you will have the courage or the insight to do what you need to do. I'll leave you with that, Aries. Thank you.